So now we're gonna be working into the hip flexor. So we're gonna take this ball, we're gonna to try to manipulate it into the corner here. So I'm not straight on here. I'm actually wanna be kind of more at an angle. So you can see this is my target. You're gonna be worried because you got your, your pelvic bone, your hip bone. So you have these hardened areas and we're trying to work into this area. So there's a very specific region, it's tough. The other side is for the hips, we're actually gonna work down and stack onto more into our glute medius. So it kind of connects here. So let's go ahead and get into it. You're gonna take this ball again, you're gonna be at a quarter, kind of a 45 angle. And now what I wanna do is put that shoulder down and I'm gonna roll until I find some tender spots. Take this leg, you can see it here, I'm gonna adduct it so it's gonna go out away from the body. Knee touches the floor and then I externally rotate the foot. I don't wanna leave the foot here, I wanna have the foot up pretty high. And what that does is that pushes that hip forward. So now I'm really putting way more pressure into that hip and I can feel it, trust me, it's way more intense. So if I feel a spot, which I do right here, I'm gonna push the foot out hard as I can and now I'm gonna just basically slowly rock the roller or the ball, but rock it until, and I'm just breaking and working on that hip. Then I'm gonna stack sideways, so now I'm fully stacked, more into that glute medius kind of high upper on the outside. And now I'm gonna reach back with the leg. Okay, I'm gonna bring the knee up. Feel it a little bit here, too high. I feel it more here, that's good. And then I'm gonna reach back again. So I wanna keep working this until I feel like I can really tolerate it more. And a lot of that pain has gone away. So again, there's two parts to that hip. You're gonna have the angle, which would be here. You're gonna drop the external rotation and then you're gonna be stacked and you're gonna be basically bringing the knee up to the chest and then reaching it back behind. So that's how we release the hips.